Oh. Emily Geiger was a forgotten revolutionary war heroine that is being brought back to life. In this video, you will learn what she did and how she contributed to the common good of South Carolina. This is the story of Emily Geiger. The first shots rang out on the morning of April 19, 1775 in Lexington, Massachusetts. Congress chose George Washington as Commander-in-Chief of America's Armed Forces. During one of General Greene's battles, he gave a volunteer young woman a letter containing very important information asking for reinforcements. General Green gave a volunteer young woman named Emily Geiger a letter that contained very important information regarding something to do asking for reinforcements. So Emily Geiger took off from the camp on her way to General Sumter to deliver this very important document. Although the letter is hard to see, it was regarding a very important information about General Green asking for reinforcements from General Sumter. As Emily Geiger was racing on in her horse, she was caught by the British scouts. She was to be searched before carrying on. So when she was alone, she memorized the letter. Then she started ripping pieces of the letter up, eating them one by one until she ate it all. When they searched her, they could not find anything on her, so they had to let her go. After she was searched and let go, she started racing in her horse again. She was tired, hungry, and dreary. So when she finally got to General Sumter, she was tired and dreary. She told him the letter, and in the conversation, it was recorded. It went somehow like this. General Sumter, I have only one question. So when you were alone, what did you do with the letter? Emily said, I ate it. Although Emily had a lot of good things, one thing bad about her is many South Carolinians did, want, did not want to separate from the British. Therefore, she was the only helping the Patriot cause. She was, highly, she was not highly great to everyone, but to some few, she was. She contributed to the common good of South Carolina in many ways. Some reasons are, at this time, women didn't, didn't have a lot of rights, so at this time, Emily was very important in history. She contributed to the common good by supporting, supporting communication that would lead to the revolution's ultimate success. Emily was thinking of others when she went to, on this dangerous trip. She was a woman contributing to the war. Most women did not help the war directly. She did.